Welcome back to the WCG for this first limited overs international of the 2019 Trans-Tasman Backyard Cricket Series between WCG Australia and the New Zealand Blackyards. While a response was needed by the Blackyards after yesterday's test drubbing, and a response they certainly have provided, they have set the green and gold a target of 166 for victory, which will be a record run chase in a limited overs match at the WCG, which means the Aussies will have their work cut out and there to prevent the Kiwis from picking up their first points of the series. So it's going to be the X-Factor Michael Johnson who will get this run chase underway for WCG Australia. Has made handy runs at the top of the order in limited overs matches in the past. And the Aussies will be hoping this is no different. So 166 is the target. It'll be Tamati Kemp to bowl the first over to Michael Johnson. In now it's a good length delivery and Johnson lets that go outside the off stump. Good discipline start with the ball for the Kiwis, who know full well that the Aussies will have to come at them at some stage. As Kemp will continue to Johnson, this one's a full delivery and he squeezes this through the offside. And that's the first boundary of the innings for the Aussies and Johnson. There's an over pitch delivery, he's put away. Kemp to continue to Johnson in the opening over. As he now it's a good length delivery and Johnson has a wild swing outside the off stump and makes no contact. So it looks like he's got free license at the top of the order as Kent will continue to announce another good length delivery and this time it catches the edge. So that's the first wicket down for the Aussies. Johnson falls in the opening over and that's a big wicket for the Kiwis. So it'll be the tall timber Daniel Arnold who will make his way to the crease for the Aussies at number two. Satch Pride just gives him a warm welcome to the crease to remind him that the Kiwis are in complete control as it stands. So it'll be Tummity Kemp into Arnold for his first delivery. He just lets this go outside the off stump. It'll be the skipper Vigo Rasmussen by the second over of the innings. As he's in now to Arnold, this is a full delivery which swings down the leg side. And that'll be called a wide. A bit of an erratic start with the ball for the Kiwi skipper. But his side still have plenty of runs to play with. So he'll continue to Arnold down the second over. He's on to full delivery and Arnold has a wild swipe. And I think he actually gets a toe end. And this has gone down the ground for six. Yeah, he's pull cued it for six. Remarkable. Rasmussen to continue to Arnold. And he's in now over the wicket. This one's a shorter delivery. And I just hit this back towards Rasmussen. And I think this was a caught and bold chance. And to add insult to injury, this has gone away for a boundary. Yeah, it was a sharp chance, but a chance. So Arnold is off to a flyer. As Rasmussen will come in for the final ball. Oh, he's over. It's another full delivery. And this one is hit down the ground for another boundary. Arnold in an aggressive frame of mind as Rasmussen over pitches. The Aussies are away. The Aussies 1 for 24 as Satch Pryor by the third over of the innings. As he's in now around the wicket to Daniel Arnold. And this one swings down the leg side and will be called a wide. Bit of a mixed start with the ball for the Kiwis who have given up a lot of extras in these opening overs. Here's Pryor will continue to Arnold. In now, and this one's a full delivery and this goes right through Arnold. And there's a second wicket down for the Aussies. This time Pryor gets his radar right and it knocks over Arnold's castle. WCJ Australia 2 for 25 in the third over as it will be the skipper Brendan Scott who will walk to the crease at number 3 and with the Aussies in dire need of a captain's knock he has to stand up. So it's Satch Pryor around the wicket to Brendan Scott for his first delivery. In now and this one swings back into Scott and this one strikes him on the leg. So a nervous moment there for the Aussie skipper. Kiwis have looked to have found their range with the ball. Another wicket here, and they'll be well on top of the Kiwis. As Pryor will bowl again to Scott. This one's a full delivery on his pads, and he's able to clip this away to the mid-wicket boundary. So Scott is off the mark in style. The Aussies 2 for 29. Pryor to continue to Scott in the third over. And he's in now, and this one's another full toss, and it's hit back towards Pryor, who has dropped the court and bowl chance, a sharp one. He might have actually gone through two pairs of hands here. Yeah, and it beats, oh, it's actually dropped by Logan Strange in the end. Bit of luck there for the Aussie skipper. As Pryor will bowl again to him now. This one's a short, slow delivery. And he hammers this through the vacant cover region for another boundary. Scott is off to a flyer. He moves to 12. The Aussies are up with the rate. As Logan Strange will bowl the fourth over of the innings. And it's a full delivery and it's driven towards Tumney Camp there at cover. Who fields well and saves a certain boundary. Scott looks on this morning as he's raced to 12. Strange will continue to him now. And this one's a wider delivery and it's been hit towards the point region. And I think it's been fielded. 
No, I think this has gone away for a boundary. I think this has initially been fielded by Lambert. He can only push it onto Kemp. He can only push it onto the boundary. It'll be Blake Lambert to bowl the fifth over of the innings. As he's in now to Scott, and this one's a full in swing and delivery. And it's hit towards Rasmussen there in mid wicket. We can't field. And it's another boundary. Scott moves to 20, and the Aussies are flying. The Aussies 2 for 46 in the fifth over. As Lambert will continue to Scott now, it's a full delivery driven down the ground. But it's well fielded there by Logan Strange at mid on. Scott is the key to this run chase, you feel. The longer he's at the crease, the more chance the Aussies have. As Lambert is into Scott now, that's a full in swing and delivery, which goes right through Scott. And this must have narrowly avoided the stumps. Oh, that was nearly the moment for the Kiwis. Lambert to continue to Scott in the fifth over. As in now, this one's another full delivery and it's driven down the ground. And Lambert hasn't been able to field of his own bowling. So Scott helps himself to another boundary as the Aussies reach 50. And Blake Lambert in for the final ball of his over. As he's in now to Scott's another full toss. And he's hit it through the break in mid wicket region for another boundary. The Aussies 2 for 54 after 5 and on track. It'll be Shane Louis of OG's Hawks Bay the ball the 6th over of the innings. As he's in now to Scott and starts with a good length delivery. Which Scott leaves alone outside the off stump. Well, of course, Louis was the one who picked up the big wicket of Scott in the test match yesterday. And the Kiwis will be hoping he can do the same today. As Louis continues to Scott over the wicket, and it's a push through the offside, but it's brilliantly fielded there by Sam Fastia. He got across from mid on to make the stop. First limited overs match on a knife's edge. Here's Louis will continue to Scott. This one's a good length delivery, which strikes Scott on the body. And I think it's got Scott in the region where you don't want to be hit. Here as he goes down awkwardly. Oh yeah, happy days. Scott has dusted himself off. To face Louis once again in the sixth over. It's a four delivery driven towards quarter there at extra cover. Who prevents the boundary with his boot. It doesn't prevent Scott from moving through for another single. As he moves to 29. Shane Louis to go around the wicket for the final ball of the over. It's a shorter delivery. Oh, does his truck Scott on the hand? There's a massive appeal here from the Kiwis. The umpire has said not out. Louis is suggesting it might have come off Scott's arm. As we take a closer look. Oh, that's close. That is really close to the hand. Here we look at the reverse angle. No, nah, it's just off the arm. It's a cracking decision. So the Aussies have taken their batting power play. Be Sam Fast to the bowl the seventh over of the innings. He's around the wicket and drops his one short. And Scott hammers it into the Kiwi bleachers. And that will be six. It's a poor start from Fastia. And Scott hammers it. Australia two for 61 in the seventh over. As Fastia will continue again to Scott. This one's a full toss. And Scott hits his way on the offside towards the fence. But it's been well fielded there by Shane Louis there at point. So this will be a massive period of the match. Can Scott maximise his power play? Or can the Kiwis force him into a rash stroke? As Fastia will continue again, and there's no stopping this here for Louis. It's another full toss from Fastia, and Scott puts it away for another boundary. Scott now moves to 39. The Aussies 2 for 65. As Fastia will continue to Scott, who advances. And this one's a good delivery from Fastia this time, and Scott has to readjust. We are in for a fantastic contest, and this is a sign of things to come. Fastia will continue around the wicket to Scott, and this one stays low. And that's the false stroke we're talking about. He's tried to manoeuvre this into the gap there at mid-wicket, and that's a lazy stroke. So Fastia in for the final ball of the over. And this one's a full delivery, and Scott gets to it on the half volley, and hammers this down the ground for another boundary. 14 runs off the first power play over. The Aussies are 2 for 69 after 7. It'll be James Porter to bowl the 8th over of the innings. He's in around the wicket to Scott and he starts with a brilliant in swing and delivery. And Scott can only jam down on that one for no run. Well, that's a brilliant start to a big power play over here for the Kiwis. As Porter will continue to Scott around the wicket. In now, this one's a wider delivery. And Scott doesn't make good contact with it as he can't beat Sam Fassett there at cover. So two huge dot balls to begin the over here for the Blackyards. As Porter will come in again around the wicket to Scott. This one's another shorter delivery. And Scott makes better contact with this one, but it's been brilliantly fielded there and covered by Sam Fastia. And stood up for the Kiwis with the bat. He's now doing it in the field. It's a 
Well, a brilliant start this to the over from Calder. As he'll continue around the wicket to Scott. It's another good length delivery. And Scott can only drop this on the offside and move through for a single. So just one run off this over so far. A brilliant result from the Kiwis. So Calder in for the final ball of his over. And it's another good length delivery. And Scott can only defend. To end what's been a sensational over there from the Rattler. So it'll be Henry Miles to buy the final over of the power play. And he's in there to Scott. This one's a shorter delivery. And this has caught the edge of Scott's bat. And it's gone through to the keeper. And that's the big wicket for the Kiwis. The Aussie skipper has gone for 44 with an absolute rip snorter of a delivery. It's a massive moment in this first limited overs fixture. WCG Australia 3 for 71. So that wicket now brings the youngster Nathan Hancock to the crease. He comes to the crease with his side still up with the required run rate. So he's got a bit of time here to settle himself into this innings. So it'll be Henry Miles into Nathan Hancock for his first delivery. In now and it's a back of a length delivery which skids on to Hancock. And he slips over in the process of playing that stroke. So the Kiwis have just wrestled back control here with a few big overs. Miles to continue to Hancock for the final ball of the power play. As he's in now it's a shorter delivery and Hancock plays it on the leg side. But it's fielded by the Rattler for no run to end a fantastic period there for the Kiwis. It'll be Simon McFarlane to bowl the final over before the drinks break. As he's in now around the wicket to Hancock. It's a full delivery. And this one catches the edge of Hancock's bat. And that's another wicket down for the Aussies. They lose their fourth wicket as McFarlane picks up his first wicket of the tournament. The Aussies now four for 72. Going to be the left arm off spinner Josh Bolling to make his way to the crease for the Aussies at number five. And he's got a big task on his hands. The Kiwis have struck twice in two overs. Can Bolling steady the ship? So it'll be Simon McFarlane to bowl around the wicket to Josh Bolling for his first delivery. In now to full toss and Bolling gets his way through mid wicket for his first boundary of the innings. Well, that's a positive start if ever you've seen one. Off the mark with a boundary first ball. Farland to continue to bowling in the 10th over. As in now, it's a good length delivery. And this one goes across bowling and beats him outside the off stump. So just the one ball remaining before the drinks break. The Aussies 4 for 76. As McFarlane will continue to bowling around the wicket for the final ball of the session. As he's in now, it's a full delivery. Oh, bowling has scored this. And this is going to be out. Sam Fastier takes a simple catch to end the session brilliantly for the Kiwis. And the Aussies, who not long ago were on track in this run chase, now in a desperate position. So in a fantastic back end to that session for the Kiwis, they have the Aussies reeling at 5 for 76 after 10 overs as they tighten their grip on this first limited overs international. They picked up the big wicket of Scott just before the break for 44 as the Aussies now have to go at exactly 9 and over if they're going to pull this victory off.